Imagine unveiling the secrets of the microscopic universe that exist in a drop of seawater, a pinch of soil, or even our own gut. A universe teeming with countless microorganisms, each playing a critical role. This is the fascinating world of metagenomics. Hey everyone, I'm Oscar and welcome to the first episode of this new series, Bite Sized Bioinformatics. In this series, we're going to journey through the exciting intersections of biology and computer science that make up the field of bioinformatics. Today, we're kicking things off with a captivating dive into metagenomics. Traditionally, microbiologists could only study the microorganisms that would grow in a petri dish in a lab setting, but this is a mere fraction of the vast and diverse microbial world. It's like trying to understand the entire Earth's ecosystem by studying just a single park. We were missing out on so much, and that's where metagenomics changes the game. This revolutionary technique allows us to bypass those lab limitations, studying the DNA of all organisms directly from their environmental samples. Here's how it works. We begin by collecting samples from the environment we're interested in. This could be anything from a soil sample in the Amazon rainforest, a seawater sample from the Mariana Trench, to a swab sample from the human gut. Next, we extract DNA from those samples. This gives us a mix of genetic material from all the different organisms present. Then we sequence this DNA using cutting edge technology. There are two main types of sequencing used in metagenomics. We have uh, shotgun sequencing, which gives us a comprehensive view of all the genes in all the organisms present. It's like having a wide angle snapshot of the entire microbial community. The other method focuses on a specific gene found in bacteria and archaea, the 16S rRNA gene. This gene is great for identifying and comparing bacteria because it evolves at a rate that is just right, not too fast, not too slow. Finally, we use powerful computer algorithms to analyze this data. There are several types of analysis we can do. Taxonomic profiling tells us what types of microorganisms are present and their relative abundances. Functional profiling helps us understand what these microorganisms are capable of by looking at their genes. This can tell us, for instance, if they can break down certain substances or produce specific compounds. Comparative metagenomics allows us to compare different samples to each other. For instance, comparing the gut microbiomes of healthy individuals to those with a specific disease. Metagenomics has revolutionized our understanding of the microbial world. In medicine, it's helping us unravel the mysteries of the human microbiome and its impact on health and disease. In environmental science, it's being used to monitor the health of ecosystems and track changes over time, giving us a better understanding of biodiversity and how to protect it. In aquaculture, metagenomics offers insights into soil health and disease resistance, potentially leading to more sustainable farming practices. And perhaps most excitingly, it's enabling us to discover entirely new genes and organisms, expanding the horizons of our knowledge. So that's the end of the first episode. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment and I'll see you in the next episode.